Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of quite a few Tudor history books. Now I'm taking you back yet again to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. It was quite a long reign and quite eventful. On this day in Tudor history, the 16th of January 1572, Thomas Howard, 4th Duke of Norfolk, eldest son of the late Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, was tried and found guilty of treason at Westminster Hall. Norfolk had been arrested and imprisoned in the Tower of London in October 1569 and questioned regarding plans for him to marry Mary, Queen of Scots, the nemesis of Queen Elizabeth I. Norfolk denied involvement in the 1569 rebellion, the Rising of the North, which sought to depose the Queen and to replace her with Mary. He was, however, secretly corresponding with Mary, sending her letters in cipher, and he sent her gifts at Christmas and during the summer of 1570. In June 1570, he begged Elizabeth's forgiveness and he vowed never to deal in that cause of marriage of the Queen of Scots, nor in any other cause belonging to her, but as your majesty shall command me. When he mentions marriage there, it's because uh, there were plans apparently for him to marry Mary Queen of Scots. In August 1570, he was released into house arrest at Howard House, his home, formerly London Charter House in London. It wasn't long before he was in trouble again, having broken his promise to the Queen. When the Ridolfi plot, a plot to free Mary and to put her on the throne of England, came to light in 1571, it was found that Norfolk, who'd initially refused to support the plot, had met with Roberto Ridolfi, a Florentine banker and papal agent, giving his approval to the plot, and that he'd also signed letters to the Pope, Philip of Spain and the Duke of Alva, who was Philip's commander in the Netherlands and who was going to launch an invasion of England from the Spanish Netherlands. Under interrogation, Norfolk's servants confessed to their involvement and they implicated their master, the Duke, who was apprehended and taken to the Tower in September 1571. In December 1571, the Grand Jury of Middlesex, headed by Norfolk's friend Thomas Gresham as foreman, drew up an indictment against Norfolk. He was charged with having conspired and imagined to deprive the Queen of her crown and dignity and compass to excite sedition, to cause great slaughter amongst the Queen's lieges, to levy war and rebellion against the Queen, to subvert the government, to change and alter the pure religion established in the kingdom and to bring in strangers and aliens to invade the realm and to carry on a bitter war against the Queen. The acts of treason listed were, one, seeking to marry the pretender, the Queen of Scots, and sending to and receiving from her tokens and sending money to her. Two, corresponding with the Earls of Northumberland and Westmoreland and others who were described as traitors and fugitives from justice. Number three, aiding, adhering to and comforting several named Scottish lords who were described as enemies of England. And four, corresponding with the Pope, Philip of Spain and the Duke of Alva in order that the King of Spain might invade England and deprive the Queen of her royal dignity. On this day in 1572, Norfolk was tried at Westminster Hall by a jury of 26 of his peers, with George Talbot, Earl of Shrewsbury, acting as High Steward. Norfolk maintained his innocence, but his own admissions and the written confessions of those involved were used against him. The jury was unanimous in finding him guilty of high treason. He was sentenced to death 
And on the 26th of January, 1572, he was degraded from the Order of the Garter. The Queen, however, was reluctant to sign his death warrant. He was, after all, the premier peer of the land. And over the next few months, Norfolk took the opportunity to plead his loyalty to the Queen by letter. But in May 1572, Parliament put pressure on Queen Elizabeth I to act against Mary, Queen of Scots. And Elizabeth finally signed Norfolk's death warrant. He was sadly beheaded on Tower Hill on the 2nd of June 1572 and his remains buried in the chapel of St Peter ad Vincula at the Tower of London. And I'll give you a link to my video talk on his execution so that you can find out more about it. But spoilers, he was executed. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 16th of January, 1549, King Edward VI's uncle, Thomas Seymour, was alleged to have broken into the king's apartments at Hampton Court Palace to kidnap the young king. He was also alleged to have killed the king's dog. And I'll give you a link to last year's video to find out more about what happened. But thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking around about there. There's a big subscribe button. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live, which they do every day. And you can give me a like and leave a comment. But thank you for watching. Bye bye.